Welcome to Community Connections with Children's Services Council of St. Lucie County. I am just one of your hosts, Sean Boyle, and with me is... Ashley Mark. And welcome to the weekly half-hour radio program on 104.5 The Flame on every Sunday. But thanks to a wonderful partnership with St. Lucie Public Schools and WLX-TV, this radio program becomes a monthly television show where we talk about what resources and or ways for you to get involved regarding children and families in our great community we call St. Lucie County. Now, we... At the Children's Services Council, and I say this every show, and I'm saying this especially for our guests today, we are not radio show and or TV show professionals we at the Children's not. Services Council. No, sir. But what we do for our community, and we do it rather well, is five things. And those five things are, one, make sure every baby's a healthy baby. Two, stop child abuse before it happens. Three, keep kids off the streets. Four, keep them in school. And five, keep them off drugs, alcohol, and other risky behaviors by offering programs and resources for all families in our community. You've switched up the order that you say those in. Have you done that on purpose? No, I didn't even realize it, but now you it's know, in my head. You used to say in school, off the streets, off drugs and alcohol, but now you say off the streets, in school. We're all roll back some old <laughs> footage because I don't think I've changed anything. I'm telling you, you have. I, I have to count them. We said we weren't going to edit this show, but we may have to just for this purpose. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, so Sean talked about those priority areas, and there's a couple different ways where you can learn more about them. One, obviously, is by listening to or watching this show, um, but you can also get a lot of information on our website, which is cscslc.org. We have a list of all of our funded programs there along with contact information for them. So it's a really great place to find a whole bunch of information all at once. Um, I do want to point out, too, we always talk about um, our website, but we have sort of a new, I'm calling it like a, a, a baby website within our new website. We've updated our St. Lucie Reads website. Our website so, had a baby? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Um, we've updated our St. Lucie Reads website, so it actually looks very similar to our CSC website. It's much easier to use, um, easier to find information. There is a lot on there. There's a lot happening with St. Lucie Reads over the summer, so it's a good place to kind of follow along and keep in touch with that. John's contact information is on there, our St. Lucie Reads coordinator. So if you visit our website, make sure that you pop on to the St. Lucie Reads page because you can see all of that information there too. And if you're thinking to yourself, Sean, Ashley, it is 2019. I had to double, I almost <laughs> said 17. About... It's 2019. I don't go to websites anymore. If you don't have an app, I'm not going to bother to check it out. Well, we do have an app. We can we can make that happen. If you look up Children's Services Council either in the Apple Store, is that what <laughs> Question it's called? Question mark. iTunes yes. Store the or the Google store. Play Store, look up Children's Services Council. All the uh, services and resources that we provide in the community are in that app. One touch, call, map. Um, you can find out what's near you and it even has a uh, like a geofencing. So yeah. if you get near a place, Very it'll let fancy. you know. <laughs> so Very anyway, fancy. but if you're like Sean, Ashley, I'm never going to go on an app, nor am I going to go to a website. We got you covered. We got a printed guide as well <laughs> we that we're more than happy to drop uh, and present at your business or place of worship so that you can know and be the hero in your community and know about all the programs and resources that are available for your families. And this is a newer version. Um, we've gone through several different kind of models of this family guide, but this is our latest one and I think probably the most popular. It seems to me like this is the one that people are asking for more frequently. Um, we've given out almost 7,500 of them this in the last like six to eight months. Um, so this is a great resource for um, anyone in the community um, so that you have on hand all the information to share with families. Because that's the whole point of the show, making sure you get connected with places that you, you or your loved ones may need. So real quick, before we get to our guests, we have a couple other announcements. Uh, if you haven't noticed, it's warm out because it's the <laughs> summer in Florida. We were yep. just talking about that before we went live yep. on the air. Uh, but also, you know, it's summer because we are sponsoring the summer movies at the Regal Theater, which is at the Treasure Coast Mall. So every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 10 a.m., there is a dollar children's movie. Yes, it's very exciting. And I know I've gotten some questions um, on Facebook and on the website. Locally, our theater shows the movie on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That doesn't happen in every Regal Theater where this Summer Movie Express is going on. We have the benefit here of having really great community partners, including Children's Services Council, the Tobacco-Free Partnership of Martin County, um, and the mall, who get together to ensure that they can offer an additional day in our local market. So um, that's really exciting for us. So if you visit their website and look at the schedule, it only says Tuesday and Wednesday, but I assure you, you can show up on Thursday and still get a dollar movie. Um, all the movies show at 10 a.m. 
every day, and the full schedule is available on our website, so you can see all the lists every week. So if we happen to have any grandparents listening and or watching, and you want to create a forever moment, memory for your with your grandchild, take them to the movie. You don't have to tell them you're only paying a dollar. <laughs> take them to the movie, create that memory, have that thing to talk about, about what you did over the summer. And again, what else can you do for a dollar? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. And the other thing I want to mention before we get to our guest, you mentioned St. Lucie Reads. Yep. Um, and over the last couple of months, we've struck a wonderful partnership with St. Lucie Battery and Tire. And we asked our listeners and viewers, I believe, at one point to go get your oil changed at St. Lucie <laughs> Battery and Tire because they, in turn, took half of those proceeds and gave them to us to buy more books for our St. Lucie Reads effort. And just so you know, we have a target, and we're almost there, to get 10,000 books into the kids of those that don't have books in their home. And John, our St. Lucie Reads coordinator, is doing a fabulous awesome job. job. He's doing a great job. Actually, um, just last week, he kicked off sort of his summer book fair tour and we're going to have some special stuff to share about that um, as he kind of goes through the summer. Um, but he's popping into summer camp locations throughout the community all summer long um, to give the kids in that camp a book fair experience. And they're able to shop in the book fair just like they would when the book fair comes to school, um, but they're able to get everything for free. And if all that excites you, again, as Ashley said, <laughs> which really started all this, go to our website at cscslc.org to find out how you can plug in for your children or grandchildren, or how you can give back and become part of it. Yes. So, oh, oh I have something else to mention. Okay. okay. I, oh. I saw the guests. They look like they're ready to start, but we can we can put them on oh, hold for one second. I'm sure they're ready. But real quick, um, we shared on our Facebook page last week um, the summer break spot link. Um, so I just want to remind everybody, um, you know, we know that when kids are in school during the year, they are getting at least two meals a day. Most of them um, have breakfast and or lunch available to them. Um, but during the summer when they're out of school, that is sometimes a struggle for families. But Summer Break Spot is available at, I wanna say like 40 locations here in our community. Um, if you go to summerbreakspot.org, you can type in your zip code and find all of the locations that are close to you. And it will even show you which meals they're serving um, so that and, no child goes hungry. And a lot of summer. those people that are doing that are our funded programs. Yes, they work with correct. us. I saw Ended on there. I think the Boys and Girls Clubs is on there. Hint, that's our guest. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I, I just put in Fort Pierce when I was on that website in 27 locations. Yeah. So um, there should be something close to you. If you can't find any information or you have questions, don't hesitate to call us at the office and we'll try to get you connected to somebody. So we have great guests. We do. I'm going to just give a little snippet and then we'll let you introduce. One, oh. they're from the Boys and Girls Club, except one member, one of our guests is also a board member of ours. She is playing dual roles So if, today. if you're wondering why we're really good on the radio right now and television, it's because one of our board of directors is here. We're on our best behavior. Is that right? We're on our best behavior. Um, we do have a great partnership with Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Lucie County, um, which we've had for a, a very long time. Um, and I don't think there's probably anybody in our community that's not familiar with Boys and Girls Club um, and what they do. And of, obviously, we don't have a five-hour show. We have a half-hour show, so we can't talk about every single thing um, that's happening at Boys and Girls Club, but we're going to talk about some of the exciting things today um, with our guests. So Don Nuff is with us, um, probably one of the newer members of the Boys and Girls Club family. Is that right? That's right. I've only been there about seven months. Yeah, so um, that's awesome. So I know, you know, we talk about after school and summer programming I feel like all the time on the radio every show, shows. Every show. <laughs> yeah, all the time. And you can't talk about after school and summer programs without talking about the Boys and Girls Club. I was just having that conversation with a local uh, official, and they were talking about after school programs. And I said, when you talk about after school programs, you have to talk Boys and Girls Club because they are the granddaddy, if you will, of after school programs. <laughs> well, and probably serve the uh, of the kids in our community that participate in after school programs, Boys and Girls Club probably serves the biggest chunk. They have the over, tw over 20 locations, <laughs> right? So next to that, I think granddaddy, I don't know what the word is, but they bigger are bigger than that. Bigger, yes. So, um, Don, I know you guys obviously during the summer implement some things that try to get the kids engaged and keep them focused. And we always joke like summer has to be fun for them to keep going, but we, especially at the Children's Services Council, are still focused on the learning aspect of it. Correct. So there's some cool things that you guys are doing this summer to sort of keep the interest but still let the kids have fun. Correct. So some of those things are uh, giving each of the weeks a theme. So we have a Disney week, we have an old school week, we have a water week, we have a, um, a green week, teaching them how to grow a garden, how to do that kind of stuff. Um, 
They're also implementing some of our programs that we have that the, you know, keeping the educational part going during the summer and um, being able to run our um, passports to manhood and our um, smart girls and all kinds of different programs to keep them going throughout the summer, keep their, their brains thinking. And they're also getting fed. <laughs> they are also getting fed, which is a very big plus. So I, I have to ask, I love, I've seen the advertisements for your camps on social media, um, and I'm sure a lot of our listeners and viewers have seen as well. And I like the themes each week, right? Because mm -hmm. not only is that good for the kids, but, you know, us as adults, we're like, I want to know what old school, <laughs> so my question is, what is old school week? <laughs> What is that time yeah. frame? How old around? school are we going? Like, <laughs> older than us. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Definitely okay. older than us. <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm not really sure how old school we're okay, going. I just was curious. I was Who like, determines oh, what old school That week I want to come by and old see. Old school is that's this yeah, one. Right. Old school is just saying. the paper format that's on our directory. Right. Yes, and so. just in case you do want to stop by, that's happening this week. This week is old school week. Oh, well, there you well, go. Well, there you go. Make a visit. I'll get my rotary phone out and call and see how's old school week going. So real quick, for the, uh, because it is the summer, um, and I just want to ask straight off, do you have openings right now? If somebody's listening and or watching and they're like, oh my gosh, no wonder why my child is at home during the day. I didn't realize it's summer. Is there openings right now? There are some open, openings at some of our locations, and if they wish to find out which those locations are, they can surely call 772-460-9918. And I will say, I know during the school year, and I'm probably going to get the numbers wrong because I don't work at the Boys and Girls Club, <laughs> but I know them. Uh, I think five clubhouse locations. Yes. And then in like 17 schools. I believe we have 15 schools and five uh, so individual almost, neighborhood so clubhouses. So okay. do all those operate in the summer or do you consolidate down a little we bit? We consolidate and we have 11 that are open during the summers. Wow. So That's north, so east. That's a lot. That's still a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, and I'm glad that you brought that up because a lot of times, you know, we get phone calls from people during the summer that maybe their child goes to school in this part of the county, but in the summer, it's easier for them to keep them close mm -hmm. to home or close to work or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice that there's, you know, options. there's options. There's lots of choices um, throughout the community in all corners um, to make sure that something's available for everybody. Correct. So... 11 locations over the summer? Yes. And again, 460-9918. That's a rule, by the way. We have to give your number out at least five times okay. or we haven't done our job. Um, but I, I love all the themes, but there is, I just want to make sure that our listeners, particularly because this one is viewed on the education channel, mm -hmm. there are learning components built in. They're not just all running around shooting squirt guns at each other and, Correct. and well, playing basketball. Correct. Well, that would be very fun. Because that sounds very appealing, yeah. right? But there is learning components built in. Yes. In fact, they run the STEM program, which it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So there are different components that we do with the kids throughout the summer. They break into different groups, and they're definitely kept challenged over the summer, That's which great. helps when they go back into the school year to keep their brains active. Yes, we all appreciate that. And I know one of the things um, that Boys and Girls Club has has tried to do really in the last several years is really engage the teenagers. And mm -hmm. you guys have a really cool thing happening um, this summer with workforce development that's really kind of pushing them into career options. Our Teen Summit? Yes. Yes, that's <laughs> happening at IRSC on June 27th. Um, it's pretty fantastic to be able to take um, our, our education and programs director, met with the kids, found out what they want to learn more about that could be co possible career paths down the road. And we've set up these rotating classes where they'll get to go around and um, see if there's a potential career path that they might want to follow. Oh, wow. So that, that's only open, obviously, for Boys and Girls Club kids? Correct. We've also invited Martin and Indian River um, Boys nice. and Girls Clubs to bring their teens as well. And I think I've attended one of those. I think I stopped by one time and I was overwhelmed with <laughs> one, not overwhelmed, that's not the right word. I was impressed by the number of kids that were participating. And then, you know, when I was, you know, kind of poked my head in, the, the knowledge of the speakers was incredible. Yes. And they're all, they all knew that they were presenting the teens, so they were making it interactive and fun, which <laughs> yes. I thought was... You absolutely have to do. You have to keep their... their um, you have to keep with them, be able to keep up with them. So on, that's on June 27th at Indian River State College. So if you're, if you're listening or watching and you have a teen that's sitting around doing nothing, <laughs> now's the time to enroll them because then they can participate on June 27th, which is just right around the corner. I, it's going to be here before we know. So, but I understand that this summer you guys have a, a partnership with Career Source, which is even more exciting as far as career explorations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I don't 
think that's a subject I've been versed on. Okay, well, <laughs> well, you know, and, and in fairness to Don, you know, we've had the Boys and Girls Club on several times, but, the, you know, this is the first time both of you have been on representing the Boys and Girls Club. But I do know, and again, this is just to incentivize uh, uh, parents and grandparents who maybe have teens that aren't committed, don't have a job or anything to do in the summer, to call the Boys and Girls Club because we know that they partnership with Career Source, Career Career Source? Mm -hmm. Career You're Source right. of the Treasure Coast. You're questioning yourself? Uh, I was thinking the word research is in there. Career, <laughs> career Source, which is the, our job readiness uh, entity in our community to provide opportunities for uh, kids to get almost apprenticeships mm -hmm. or internships, if you will, um, to, to explore career paths and I believe even get paid, which is even better. <laughs> I could be messing this all up, and I might be completely wrong, but you call the Boys and Girls That's Club definitely happening somewhere. at 460, I call them at 460-9918, particularly if you have a teen, let them know that you have a teen and ask them about the uh, our career source uh, partnership, because there might be an opportunity for them yes. to do a little career exploration, as well as keep busy during the summer. I will say too, um, I follow Boys and Girls Club on social media, both on Facebook and on Instagram. And the Instagram page has such great pictures of the kids that are participating in the after school program all year long, but specifically in the last couple of weeks in the summer program. Um, they're having such a great time and it's always from a different location. So you kind of get an idea about what everybody is doing in there. But if you have a kid that maybe is interested in Boys and Girls Club and you haven't quite enticed them into taking that leap, if you, I promise you if you pull the pictures up on Instagram, they'll <laughs> want to be there because it looks like everyone is having a great time. So this is, we're, um, um, this is my long transition to, <laughs> to, to, to Linda, <laughs> Commissioner Bart. Uh -oh. So one of the reasons why uh, we partner with the Boys and Girls Club That's year after year date. after year, and I think oh, one of the reasons date. why they are one of the premier after school and before school providers because of their ability to work with families, particularly those families that may have economic obstacles. So for example, the clubhouse sites, and I'm talking about during the school year, the clubhouse sites of which there's five, <laughs> looking for a head nod confirmation, yeah. five, it only costs $25 a year for a child to attend a, uh, an after school program. And it's an after school program that's built off a curriculum, it's built off addressing the kids uh, educational and social emotional needs it's not just you know a free-for-all if you will it's very organized and for only twenty five dollars and because we at our office we get a lot of calls from families who are like you know I want to enroll my child in an after-school program it costs you know fifty dollars a week and then I get a discount for the siblings but if they have three or four <laughs> kids they're paying you know four hundred five hundred dollars a month yeah. that's not accessible for many families that's right. why we always like to partner with the Boys and Girls Club because it's a great value, not only for us, but it's a great value for the community. Right. So I say all that to lead into <laughs> the only way that's made possible is one, we partner very closely with the Boys and Girls Club, but they also do multiple events around the year to help raise funds to make sure that those costs are low and attainable for families, which means that they have this big event coming up. I told you it was a long transition. <laughs> they have this big event coming up of which we are lucky enough to have uh, a board of county commissioner here, commissioner here. She's the chair of the county commission. She also happens to sit on the board of the Children's Services Council, which I probably should have said first. <laughs> um, but she's also on the board of the Boys and Girls Club, and I believe you are the, you're the what is your, What's title? your title? The chair. Chili chair. Queen of chili. <laughs> chili <laughs> chair. <laughs> You know, of all easy. titles, before I retire, I'm going to be a chili chair. A chili chair. <laughs> we like, can make that happen. <laughs> uh, down the road. <laughs> so, so chili chair. Yes. What, so what exciting. Yes. <laughs> so and you wore reddish for a chili. I, I did. I did. Because I may have chili for lunch and I don't want to stain my outfit. Um, you know, every year, and this goes way, way back, um, chili cook-off has happened in St. Lucie County. And it uh, gives the opportunity for a great family outing. Um, used to be, I can remember it going back being three I and can four days. That. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but now it's one day. Uh, we have chili teams, and they compete, and they help raise money for Boys and Girls Club. And it truly is just a day of fun. Um, people all over. I met uh, somebody from Vero last year who writes for a paper and said, I've never been to Chile, so I thought I'd come down. And I went, what? <laughs> you know, I mean, Chile's been here forever. Right, right. 
but I've been around for a long time too. I can go back to raft race days and, and things like that. Oh, I remember all those events too because I can remember being a little girl. My mom was a member of the Port St. Lucie Junior Women's Club back in the day and there used to be a big parade that happened that led up to Chile yes and I was always in the parade with her on her float so well I, and you I did you too. did the parade before you went, you went inside, inside yeah. and the clock went off <laughs> and you were allowed to start Chile so my favorite thing about the Chile cook-off is the tasting kits that you can get yes. at the door because then you get to sample all of the chili, which is really fun. And not only sample, but vote on yes. what you think the best chili is. So I also know that someone at this table has historically been a judge. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I have, I didn't, wasn't able to do it last year, which was my greatest disappointment from last year because I looked forward to being a chili judge. I was out of town. So are you out of town this year? I don't, well, Let's ask, when is, <laughs> when, is when is the event? July 13th, are you out of town? I am not out of town. <laughs> Good, <laughs> then. I will be tasting chili. You yes. will be, so, you will so, be. So we, okay, so from context, we know it's July 13th, <laughs> that's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's at the Fen Center? It is at the Fen Center. What time does it start? 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> at some point, so, you know, probably outside of uh, after school programming. Probably the other question we get a lot is there's nothing to do for families. This is a mm -hmm. great family event. It is. It is a ton of fun. We take all of our kids, all three of them, all of our kids <laughs> um, every year and there's really something for everyone to do. It's always really exciting. There's always something going on. Um, there are stage performances that happen throughout the day. There is music happening all the time. There's lots of fun activities for the kids to do. Um, I think Chile is one of the events that our whole family looks forward to every year. So, you know, years ago, I used to do a booth with a bank, and we used to always target the children with whatever event or um, thing that they could do. And we went from doing a little round pool and the ducks. Oh, nice. I don't even want to tell you what it took to go out and find ducks and to be in the middle. At that time, it was a civic center. Oh, yeah. And put water in a pool. Yeah. The kids were going to come by, but every kid, every kid got a prize. I just got a flashback, and I didn't put that together until you said the, uh, at the civic, civic center. center. I, our first dog when we moved down here, I adopted at the, uh, at the chili cook-off when it was at the Civic Center. Oh, wow. Now I remember. So yes. see, yes. we all have good yes. memories at chili yeah. cook-off. This is going to be great fun. <laughs> so the, the businesses and the agencies that participate that have a booth set up have a theme to follow. What, what is the theme for this year? Books. Oh! Books. Summer reading! We love <laughs> books! That's beautiful. That's fantastic. And everybody gets to pick out a book and decorate their booth to fit their book That's in awesome. whatever manner they want. So how many partners do you have that are going to be cooking chili? I don't know why I use air quotes on cooking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But um, right now we still have room. I think we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 booths. So uh, if anybody wants to come in, they need to start moving. So. So let's speak about, because I'm going to get back to the day's event, but just in case we have somebody listening or watching that is like, you know, hey, I want to get more involved in the community. So what, do, what does it mean to have a booth? We want, you know, obviously you're serving chili, right? <laughs> and, you look like a, and you look like a book or there's a theme. No, there's you a theme. A and you make chili for judging. So everybody makes a gallon of uh, chili so people like you can judge it. Um, and then typically they'll make chili to sell, they'll have hot dogs, Something different food else. items, so that again, family affair, the kids can go in, the families can go in, and they can not worry about hungry children because <laughs> hungry children are hangry children. Yeah, okay. um, so, uh, you know, lots for them to do. Um, there's a fundraising part of this. Uh, typically, we look at pre-fundraising and we see the teams doing things like selling candy bars at the bank, um, doing raffles, um, all kinds We've had of dine and donates where they have mm. uh, gone into restaurants and a portion of the proceeds come back to us. We had uh, our BOCC, the library this year, uh, asked for books to be donated to them and then they turned around and resold them and 
Oh, nice. And the proceeds come back to Very Boys and cool. Girls Club. So if there's somebody that's interested in participating as one of the chilly, we'll say, books, this year, mm -hmm. um, who's the best person for them to get in? Oh, it's you. Yay. <laughs> Absolutely. So they Dawn. can call you at 460-9918. Ask exactly. for Dawn. Ask for Dawn. Say you want to do chili. Extension 107 <laughs> to make it easier. There you go. Perfect. And, and just to incentivize it, or just if somebody's like, why would I want a chili booth? <laughs> I pro like in all of St. Lucie County is there. Every time I go, that's um, true. I go to get like, hey, I'm going to go walk around and get chili. You, you're talking to everybody. It's like you walk five steps, you run into somebody else, you know, you walk another mm -hmm. five steps. So it's great exposure. Mm -hmm. One, it's a great way to give back for a great cause uh, to the Boys and Girls Club to make sure that children are getting in uh, before and after school care as well as summer. But it's also great exposure for your business. Yes, for sure. All right, so so let's go back now because now we got the businesses covered, <laughs> right? Anybody call Don four six zero nine nine one eight. Now let's talk about why I should bring my family. So I come in, is it free to get in? Yes. It's free to get in. It's in the air conditioning <laughs> too. And it's, it's in the air conditioning, conditioning in July. July 13th indoors. In the AC. And so, so, and so they can sample chili, they can buy food, there's a stage, there's singing, dancing, all that stuff. And I will say too, like Commissioner Bart said, the most of the booths have some activity, whether it's spinning mm -hmm. a wheel or playing a game or doing something. Um, so my kids are always entertained um, going through. I love that it's books too, because I feel like they'll be able to associate the characters mm -hmm. with yes. whatever yes. book it is. So that's And really we have fun. some unique choices in books, so it's gonna be fun. And for the kids, mm -hmm. it'll be fun for them to kind of guess yeah. what they're looking at and going, <gasps> Oh, yeah. That's I read cool. about that. I'm excited about idea. that. That'll be fun. So as we only got like a minute and a half left, but I will perfect. I will definitely sign up to be a judge. <laughs> but are there like boundaries set on like what needs to go into the chili? There are there are competition chili yes. rules. Yes, yes, there are. No beans, um, no rice. No, I mean, those are no, 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 no type noodles. of fillers. It's mm. just about the actual meat and the chili and the no beans. So I'm, I'm going to reach all audiences here. So <laughs> let's say there's a vegetarian watching. They're like, why would I want to oh. go to a chili cook-off? There's other food there that's not. We there. had, we yep. had, yeah, somebody no, does we vegetarian had very chili. vegetarian chili last year at the commission booth. See? Yeah. Absolutely. So Something there's really no excuse for <laughs> any of our listeners and or viewers to not show up. That's right. <laughs> All right, so uh, last plug for the event. So <laughs> it's July 13th at the Fen Center at 11 a.m. You want both families. Get fam there early. Get there, or, yeah, get there early. Um, you want families, obviously, to come, but you're also looking for additional sponsors, it sounds like. Sponsors, Whether you want to do a booth or even sponsors, just sponsors. Sponsors, vendors, mm -hmm. booths, anybody who is interested in helping out with Chili, being involved, give us a call. We'll figure it out. Perfect. And if you're watching, you're like, this all sounds great, but remember, you're about connecting people with the resources for your children. Call the Boys and Girls Club because they have over 10 locations this summer and uh, 20 when school starts. Because if, if you haven't figured out summer, we're going to blink our eyes and school's going to be starting. <laughs> and you're going to want to call 460-9918. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you for having us. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Remember, it's a weekly radio program. And remember, it's our children, our community, our future. We're all in this together. We'll see you next time.